Here's a summary of retinopathy of prematurity. The epidemiology here is preterm infants, specifically those with a birth weight to less than 1,200 grams. The pathophysiology, blood vessels typically grow from the macula toward the retina by birth. In prematurity, this is incomplete. So in retinopathy of prematurity, these vessels grow and branch abnormally. This can lead to vasoconstriction, neovascularization, and hemorrhage, all problems with vessel growth. The etiology is usually hyperoxia. That's the most common cause of retinopathy of prematurity. It has also been linked to sepsis, intraventricular hemorrhage, hypotension, and hypoxemia, actually. The prognosis in most cases resolves spontaneously, leading to normal vision. In advanced cases, it can lead to retinal detachment and vision impairment. In the case of these advanced cases, you might want treatment like cryotherapy or laser procedures. And for these treatments, these patients will get general anesthesia, and they should keep the pulse ox reading between 96 and 90. 99%.